Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is Andrew from Schnauzer Face Minis. So, for someone who doesn't play Warhammer, I certainly have been shipping a load of cash over to Games Workshop recently, but this was well worth it. I picked up the Dark Vengeance box set, so I've got a ton of cool minis to play with, starting with this Deathwing Terminator. As you can see, I also worked out some of my anti-Tyranid rage issues on the base. I'm not a huge fan of the Deathwing studio scheme. It looks a little cartoony and flat to me, so I took a few liberties with my color choices. I understand Deathwing armor isn't supposed to be green, but I still think there should be some subtle greens in the shadows if these guys will share a table with Dark Angels. P3 Jackbone actually has some hints of green, so that was my choice for the midtones. Next is VGC Off-White. I'm focusing on very small areas that would receive overhead light. The shoes, the helmet, the lower calves, and areas like that. This is the brightest highlight, so I don't want to overdo it. I add some contrast with Thornwood Green, thinned about 1-4 to four with water. For the most part, I hold the model upside down to focus on areas that wouldn't receive much light. In the very deepest shadows, I add Leviathan Purple thinned about 1 to 3. I prep the surface for an oil wash with Liquitex Gloss Varnish. The varnish will protect the underlying layers and provide a slick, smooth surface for the wash. This will help the wash flow into the recesses easily. I prefer oil washes over ink washes because cleanup is so easy. If I'd used a GW wash, for example, I would have had to reapply highlights after the wash had dried. With the oils, I can just use a Q-tip with some thinner and the excess wash will come right up. It may be a bit more work up front, but it'll save time in the long run. I use Vallejo Liquid Metal Silver. This is an alcohol-based paint, so it needs to be thinned with alcohol. It gives an extremely reflective result that is so much shinier and more realistic than any acrylic metallic I've used. There are metallic flakes in these paints that could rust if mixed with water, so it's best to dedicate a cheap synthetic brush solely to these paints and keep it away from water or water-based paints.
For the gore effects, I mixed a little black ink into Tamiya Clear Red, which is awesome for blood. It's a deep, transparent red that dries with a little gloss to it. The black ink will darken it enough to make it look like the blood is congealed. To thicken the blood, I mix in Yoo-hoo. 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 Glue. This stuff is sort of like rubber cement, but it's easy to shape into stringy, gory effects. Only the glue with the black cap will come out stringy. Unfortunately, American stores don't carry the black cap version, only the green cap version, which won't work the same. But I was able to find the black cap... Glue on eBay. And that should just about do it. As always, thank you so much to my subscribers. I actually just got to 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. So thank you for all your support. I've got a couple really cool ideas for new content on the horizon, so be sure to check back often. I hope your holiday season is going great, and I'll be back with new stuff really soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.